based on movies have always been looked down upon, and with good reason. More often than not, they're cheap cash-ins that vaguely resemble the work that they're based on. EA hopes to cast Rapero on the whole situation with Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, based on the book and movie of the same name. Sporting impressive backing from the film's cast and crew, the game promises to deliver an authentic Harry Potter experience. But does it live up to the magic, or is it all smoke and mirrors? The events of the last book and movie, Goblet of Fire, left Harry in dire spirits for Order of the Phoenix. Aside from bearing the guilt of Cedric Diggory's death, Harry is faced with skepticism and scorn from the rest of the wizard community concerning Voldemort's return. Things only get worse when Harry returns to Hogwarts to find a new headmistress and defense against the dark arts teacher, Dolores Umbridge, whose prim and proper attitude and kosher curriculum leave him dismally unprepared. I barely hate children! From there, Harry decides to take matters into his own hands by forming Dumbledore's army, a clandestine group of students who meet in secret, learning techniques in preparation for the danger that awaits them. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix is one of the most climactic books in the series, and the anticipation building up for next month's movie seems to mirror that trend. But the game suffers from a mitigated rendering of the book's rich plot, reducing many of the story's pivotal moments to quick cutscenes and omitting some significant events altogether. Maybe this route was taken to preserve the impact of the forthcoming movie, but the story in the game has its share of holes. Even so, it is a cut above most gaming pros. 50 points to Slytherin! I'll take him from here. For this iteration of the Harry Potter game series, the level-oriented design of Goblet of Fire has disappeared. In its place is an enormous, true-to-scale recreation of Hogwarts that not only captures its key landmarks and corridors, but many of its smaller nuances as well. Progressing through Order of the Phoenix is contingent upon completing tasks displayed on a map that's littered with names of various students and faculty that require Harry's attention. Some students must be brought to dark arts meetings, some require assistance with miscellaneous tasks, while teachers provide various side quests to complete in your spare time. Picking out specific students in Hogwarts is quite easy, as once chosen, a trail of footprints appear that you can follow. You can even use talking portraits to teleport you across long distances. That makes more ballet sense than anything I've heard in a long time. Though the game does do a good job at facilitating the otherwise grueling runaround of assisting students around campus, the tasks you are given are uninspired and lack variety. There's no real sense of urgency or significance from doing these tasks, and for a good half of the game, you're simply chasing around members. However, the real sense of accomplishment comes from uncovering the many secrets hidden within Hogwarts. I love this thing! Littered around the castle are various points of interest that can be manipulated in some way by magic, be it reassembling suits of armor, hanging portraits on the wall, or simply sprucing up. In return, you get discovery points, which slowly levels up your proficiency in magic and unlocks bonus content to browse through in the Room of Rewards. The game's fickle assortment of tasks may be one of its downsides, but the massive undertaking of completely picking apart Hogwarts secrets is more than enough to keep would-be wizards entertained. Undoubtedly, Order of the Phoenix's strongest suit lies in its lush production values as it showcases a number of impressive aesthetic touches. For example, a majority of the movie's cast has lent their voices to the game including Neville Longbottom and the Weasley twins. And to be in it is fantastic. Miscellaneous students also rattle off random series Easter eggs that Potter buffs will pick up on. The game's visuals aren't going to give Gears of War a run for its money, but for the first next-gen Potter game, it has its moments. There are some frame rate issues here and there, but roaming around such an accurate depiction of the castle is a breathtaking experience for fans. Complementing the visuals is the use of the movie's official soundtrack which reprises many of the film's iconic symphonic themes. The music is absolutely incredible and goes a long way towards setting the Potter tone. All factors considered, Order of the Phoenix includes the most believable digital Hogwarts yet. As the first excursion for Harry and friends on next-gen consoles, it's an auspicious start. As with anything Harry Potter related, magic plays a central role in the game. Spells are executed by a number of movements done on the right analog stick. 
The PS3's six-axis control can also be used for pulling off these tricks, but the standard analog control is preferred in situations like wizard duels. Expelliarmus! Spell staples from the books like Wingardium Leviosa and Incendio can be used at any time and in creative ways. Order of the Phoenix does well in correcting some lingering quirks in the game series. The consolidation of spells to commands on the right analog stick is a welcome feature, compared to the previous game where you had to assign spells to different buttons. Take that! The camera has also been significantly improved, and selectively pans and zooms in certain areas, choosing the best functional view. One odd quirk is that Harry intermittently stops running in certain areas. Also, the students in Hogwarts can get in the way, preventing Harry from getting where he needs to go. Watch out, it's Potty Potter! This is especially bothersome when Ron and Hermione, who tag behind you through the whole game, corner you or otherwise get in the way. Despite some slight imperfections, spellcasting and movement in Order of the Phoenix is still a vast improvement from Goblet of Fire, and the game gets a lot of mileage out of being able to pick up objects and give them a toss. If you're looking for authenticity, then Order of the Phoenix is just what the wizard conjured. The mission objectives are mundane, but all the little secrets littered throughout give it a sense of discovery that Harry Potter games have failed to deliver in the past. If you're a die-hard Potter fan, then don't think twice about picking it up, and action gamers will find a lot to like as well. Well, the game is up. What are you waiting for?